All right, so the local elections have come and gone and we're starting to see the implications, uh, especially in the hung metros where mayors have been chosen, uh, where groupings are forming, uh, sometimes without formal coalition agreements. Today, the EFF and the ANC held briefings uh, with the media, with the public, uh, to talk about how they fared in those local government elections and giving some insight into what has happened behind the scenes when it comes to those coalition talks. To discuss, we're joined by Dr. Oshupeng Maseng, lecturer in the Department of Political Studies and International Relations at the University of the Northwest. Uh, doctor, thank you for, for being with us. Um, uh, we, we've just covered live the ANC briefing. Uh, do you agree that it was pretty frank? Well, I think uh, all political parties, in, in particular the EFF, uh, were pretty frank in, in their discussion. But uh, on, on, on the part of the ANC, there's uh, that element of trying to be or remain confident that they still have the masses of uh, South Africa still supporting them, which is actually quite not true. Uh, because if you uh, remember the statement that uh, Figilem Barula made that in actual fact that the EFF is actually taking uh, their support away, uh, uh, which is actually true. But... Uh, the ANC still displays that element of arrogance that they still remain uh, uh, the party that still has a mammoth of support from various uh, South Africans. Yeah, he did say they had a, a clear mandate that was renewed, uh, but also saying it's renewal or death, uh, recognising that the party could continue this, this decline uh, and continue to just uh, drop, it's already dropped below 50%, uh, saying that something has to change. Uh, there was a clear recognition of that, I think. Uh, even, even if they can claim that something has to change, the change that we are observing in South African politics currently is that, uh, unlike before, uh, in, in, the, in the auspices of this multi-party system, we are beginning to notice now from the, the recent development in, 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 in terms of uh, those that are elected as mayors as well as speakers in various municipalities, particularly those in the metros, that there is now lessening kind of fragmentation uh, amongst various political parties that are a bit minute towards the ANC. So it's like they are collaborating in a sense to try to take support of the ANC down. So we are moving away now from where we do not have a, 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 a party politics uh, that, that they remain uh, on divisions as to whether where or which political party we belong to. But political parties have a common sense of fighting this one big elephant uh, in order to remove it from, from governance, which is the ANC. So there is some element of collaboration uh, between these other political parties towards defeating the ANC. But what does that mean for those, uh, they're not even coalition agreements, it was just the EFF deciding to support the DA voluntarily, Action SA as well. Uh, now the DA has to try and hold on to that executive power. Will it be extremely difficult? Do you think we're going to look at a situation that's even more tenuous uh, than we saw last time? The, the reality is that, that uh, we, we need to accept that any coalition government, even though the, the EFF claims that they do not uh, have uh, any coalition agreements with uh, uh, the DA, the reality is that in any forum where you have varying political parties, there will consistently be divisions and there will consistently be disagreements on in terms of policy matters, in terms of IDP matters, in terms of budgets. You remember that Mbalula stated that uh, they are going to vote for any budget that is supported by the ANC, but they are not going to be dictated to by any political party, like they indicated that the EFF wanted to dictate terms to them. So it, it goes without saying, goes without saying that the, the reality that we are going to observe over the past the, the next few years will be divisions within these various councils where you have uh, the ANC, the EFF, uh, as well as the DA in charge of those municipalities. So difficulties will be there in terms of running those municipalities based on the fact that these are political parties who don't necessarily see eye to eye ideologically as well as policy orientation. That was Dr. Oshupeng Masseng, lecturer in the Department of Political Studies at the University of the Northwest.